There's no need to publish any more gritty existential retellings of the Superman origin. Any attempt would be redundant because it was done in 1930, almost a full decade before the creation of Superman himself. In fact, this book greatly inspired the creation of Siegel and Schuster's Superman. It poses the predictable questions of does an indestructible, untouchable man have the ability to change the world or to change the direction of humanity? And furthermore, does such a man even owe such consideration to the rest of humanity at all? The author has the maturity to avoid indulging in simple power fantasies. He avoids providing easy answers to these questions. In fact, the message of the book seems to be that there are no answers at all. The full audiobook is available for download from LibriVox.org, an organization of volunteers that create public domain audiobooks from public domain books. A link is in the description. Being an old school comic book collector, I'd heard about this book and read about how influential it was on the creation of Superman, but I'd never read it before, and now I'm glad I did. I thought it would be dated, but every time I felt the author might be bogging down in some archaic, unsophisticated trope, he didn't. It's a, it's a better book than expected. You can support 30 Seconds Sci-Fi and my other projects by becoming a patron. There's a link in the description below.